God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Monday, November 30th. Today we begin our ad series of Advent devotionals produced by Luther Seminary in Minnesota. Today's devotional is based on the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 1 to 11. Comfort, O oh comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term and that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the, the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I said, What shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. Their gr the grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of the good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms, and he will carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother sheep. So, today's devotional. The writer knows a people who have experienced defeat and destruction. In that situation, it is easy to question what kind of God we have, and what, that God ha what has God in mind for us. It is to these people that Isaiah directs his message. God's people experience comfort, firm in the knowledge that their Lord is coming. The ferial quality of, the, of our existence contrasts sharply with the word that stands forever. Isaiah assures us that God has not forgotten or forsaken God's people. The one who comes indeed comes with might and comes in a way that changes the very landscape does not come to destroy us, but rather to comfort us, feed us, and gather us to God's self. God's coming is not to be feared, but to be welcomed. Truly, these are good tidings for all people. Let us pray. We thank you that you have not forsaken us, but rather have come to comfort us. Help us to help us to tell the good tidings of your coming. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again throughout Advent as we move through the season of anticipation, an anticipation of new life coming into the world. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practice social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask.